back F. Oh. In this video, we will demonstrate a reverse total shoulder replacement for rotator cuff failure with wear and tear arthritis using a reverse shoulder replacement system. The rotator cuff is a group of muscles that are responsible for helping move the shoulder. When they are damaged and not reparable, loss of function occurs at the ball and socket joint of the shoulder, causing pain and dysfunction. The shoulder joint, or the glenohumeral joint, is between the head of the humerus and the glenoid cavity. Need this? Not right now, I don't. The most reliable Probably surgical like option to relieve pain is a special replacement that switches the ball out with a socket and the socket out with a ball, also called reverse shoulder replacement. Or maybe 10. The surgeon uses a series of instrumentation to place guides around the shoulder to prepare the humerus. Once the guides are in place, the surgeon removes the damaged area with a saw. A metal plate is placed on the cut surface to determine the appropriately sized implant and to protect the bone during socket preparation. Attention is then placed on preparing the socket. A series of instruments is used to mold the socket into the shape of the implant that will be secured to the bone. The size of this implant is based on the patient's anatomy. A flat metal plate is secured to the socket with three screws. Yeah, buddy. Remaining Screw bone it. and soft tissue from around the plate is removed. Damn. A trial implant is placed on the plate to determine the proper size and fit. The metal the plate on the humerus is removed or? and final preparation of the humerus is initiated. Final humerus preparation is carried out by placing a series of instruments down the canal in the bone to determine proper implant size and angle. Once the size has been determined, part of the bone is removed and smoothed out in order to place a trial implant. After the trial implant is in place, the surgeon places the socket onto the ball and assesses the stability of the joint with the implants chosen. After appropriate sizing, tension, and stability are determined, the surgeon will then remove the trial implants on both sides of the joint. Finally, the real replacement will be implanted with a ball on the metal plate and a socket that is attached to a stem that is placed into the humerus. You know what the biggest wood face is? This completes the reverse total shoulder I replacement. Earn more than the guy doing this procedure. Do you know how precise you have to be with this shit? Like fucking decades of studying everything. That is too much, man. They need to chillax.